What's good with it, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Back with y'all with another one. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get into it, man. So, topic of discussion today, we talking about the Los Angeles Clippers, um, recent struggles, injuries, uh, the foreseeable future, what this means for this Clippers team that had, I, I guess you can say, had. <laughs> Now I ain't gonna do them like that. That has championship uh, aspirations. Um, uh, as of late, or uh, as of tonight, uh, Kawhi. If anybody wasn't paying attention to it, or I should say yesterday, um, Kawhi was hurt in that uh, Timberwolves game, man. Uh, he was in street clothes before we leaving halftime. Uh, he, apparently, it was some kind of nagging injury he's been dealing with for the past couple of days. Now, the only reason, you, you know, the, that prompted this video more so anything about the Clippers is, again, they wanted the top seeded teams in the West in 4C right now, sitting at 41 to 23 and, and 40, you know, in 4C in the West. But uh, it's concerning that we, we've we seen this this uh, this storyline before with Kawhi, you know what I mean, when he gets hurt or gets injured, you know, he, 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 he has set out for pretty much damn near half a season or a full season. Because you know he he doesn't want to be on the court unless he is a hundred and ten percent. He he takes absolutely no risk at anything. If he has an injury or something that's ailing him, or anything like that, he doesn't take risk. He does he does not he does not roll the dice with his body in any any way, shape, form, or fashion. And um, in the case and situation this year, hell, this is the most games he's played in a long time. He's like started over. over almost like eighty percent of the games of the season, or something along those lines, uh, statistically for it, but. Either way, uh, this is something that's extremely concerning because you, you they, in order for this Clippers team to have any type of remote chance possible, at, let alone winning a championship, but making a deep playoff run or a playoff push, they're going to need Kawhi Leonard healthy and they're going to need him out there. Otherwise, they, they flat out don't have enough. Uh, let's be, you know, let's be honest about the situation at hand here. Uh, Paul George is nice. James Harden is nice. But. Outside of that, man, they need Paul. They need Kawhi Leonard because he is the driving force. He is the only one on that team with a chip and that has the experience with it and, and to win at games of that magnitude. We've seen James Harden fold under pressure numerous occasions. We've seen uh, Paul George and he played for the Pacers. You know what I'm saying? Going head to head with LeBron, but they fell short. So we've seen them put on performances, but the consistency isn't there. Kawhi is the only one where he's gotten to those levels. He's won those games and won those championships. You know what I mean? So. <clears throat> or he's been a part of those championship teams, I should say. However you want to word it and the things of that nature, whatever it is, he's still got a ring. Um, but for the rest of it, it's like, yeah, they, they need him out there. They need him out there and they need him healthy. Otherwise, they stand no chance. It doesn't help the fact that also, man, the the floor general of that second unit and Russell Westbrook got hurt, and so he's missing some extended time. So what, what does that mean? It's a next man up mentality. So you're seeing Bones Highland get minutes and things of that nature. Bones Highland, no disrespect to him, but he ain't no damn Russell Westbrook. Play completely different. They might be some, you know, high high energy players and excuse me, high energy players and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, Bones Highland is no no Russell Westbrook. Westbrook does everything on the court: scoring, rebounding, assist, and plays defense. And Bones Highland is more of a get his and get his first type of player. And that's no side of disrespect. There's a lot of players in the league that's coming off and meant to be score, like specifically scorers off the bench. And Bones Highland is one of those type of players. But this this um, this Clippers team, they need they need Russ with that second unit for them to be functional and being able to 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 keep everything afloat, if not extend the lead or 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 reel them back in. Russ is that he is that X factor for that team. So with him missing this extended period of time, you're starting to see his presence being milked. Uh, his presence being missed big time. You're seeing that firsthand here. Um, so the, you know, the, and, and again, a, a lot of this is going to fall on the on the shoulders of who James Harden and Paul George to be able to will these will this team to wins. So they're gonna have to figure it out, man. Um, you know, it, it, it's coming down the home stretch. The games are getting tight now. Seedings are in place. You're starting to see you know projected landing spots for teams and things of that nature. So this Clippers team definitely got to start making a move and, and, and stringing some games together. Otherwise. Hey, hey, they could see themselves in one of two things, playing against having a first round matchup of a team that's one of the top teams in the West, or they could see themselves potentially if they drop some more games and things of that nature, they could see themselves in a play in situation, too. So it ain't, it ain't sweet or it's looking bleak on each and every way. I mean, over the last 10 games, they, they five and five over the last 10 games. They was literally just up yesterday on the Timberwolves 
by over 20, and then they end up losing by 18. That that's wild. <laughs> like that's that's a huge turnaround in point spread and differential right there. And again, a lot of that hinged on Kawhi went out. You know, the ship started to sink slowly but surely. It was a crack. It was a crack in the hole, and uh, and 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 the hole, and then all of a sudden they had a full blown leak. And next thing you know, they're going belly side up, and they done sunk the ship, and they getting blown out. Anthony Edwards was the key contributor, or who took over and caused that to happen. So Anthony, I mean, the Clippers was the Titanic, and Anthony Edwards was the iceberg. <laughs> I mean, it, it just is what it is. So the Clippers got some work to do, man. They got to figure it out. This is back to back losses. Like I said, they five, they five and five over their last ten games. And it's just been, you know, get winnable games, and then they just end up, you know, just losing. Or some of these cases, they're just getting the doors blown off of them. And, again, they, they, it's just a lot of it, low management happening and things of that nature. So the Clippers, they got to get healthy and they got to get right in order for them to stand a chance to be one of those teams to win in the West. Otherwise, it's just going to be another team where you got a lot of players on the team or you got a, you got a, studded, you got a studded roster. But guess what's happening? They ain't producing and they ain't doing anything. So Steve Ballmer going to be out there throwing money away again type of thing. But y'all let me know what you think about this Clippers team, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think they need to change. How can they make themselves better? Uh, you know, if Kawhi is hurt, if Russ is out, do y'all think that that pretty much eliminates their uh, their chances at potentially competing for a championship, let alone, again, making the playoffs but competing for a championship? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Y'all already know I'm going to respond to each and every one of y'all. But that's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we're going to be back with another one, baby. We working. We working. Let's get it.